What's going on guys, T-Mart here. Welcome to episode six of the top 10 best paint jobs in Black Ops 3. This is a weekly series we do every single Sunday where you guys submit your own paint jobs and get to show off your work and the rest of us can kind of appreciate what you've done as well as get some inspiration, some ideas for what we wanna do on our own weapons. Now, this week we do have a theme. It's Star Wars week, baby. These are all gonna be Star Wars paint jobs and man, oh man, did I have a ton of great submissions. If you submitted something, Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it even if you didn't make it into the top 10 here It was just it was super strict competition man like there's some good stuff in here So uh, it's uh, it's pretty cool now next week We are not gonna have a theme you can submit whatever you want to submit if you want to submit your own paint job I'm gonna link it down in the description how to do that and uh, without further ado Let's get into it guys. So starting off here at number 10 we have warp speed by H man baller on Twitter and uh, this one like as I've said before, I like super intense, super detailed, super crazy paint jobs that are really intricate and take a long time to make. I also like paint jobs that are super simple, but still look really, really cool. And this kind of falls more in that second category. So, uh, you know, obviously the kind of like warp hyperspeed, you know, space jump that they do in all the Star Wars movies where all the stars kind of like turn into lines and stuff. It's really cool. It's really iconic. This guy made it on his weapon. And I think it's kind of a cool, uh, you know, design in general. Like even if you didn't know this was related to Star Wars, it would still look pretty cool. So uh, good work on that. Now, next up at number nine, we have the BB-8 Argus by Anthony S. And uh, you guys can see here, he used the Argus, which has that kind of like circle kind of like lever action feature on it and he made BB-8 which is kind of like the new uh, you know kind of like updated version of R2-D2. I'm gonna be sad to see R2-D2 go but BB-8 is pretty cool. Uh, you know, I, I can't lie and um, yeah so he has like the, the main big BB-8 on this side and then on the other side you don't see when you're playing he even has another little BB-8 which is kind of cool. So uh, I thought this one was kind of fun and creative. Now next up talking about fun and creative it's Black Cell time, baby. At number eight, we have the R2-D2 Black Cell. So this was actually submitted by a ton of people. I probably had at least like 15 different submissions of this, uh, of people making R2-D2 on the Black Cell. And it makes a lot of sense. Like we've seen, you know, Starbucks cups, Black Cells, uh, Duracell battery black cells, stuff like that before. R2-D2 fits in well here, as you guys can see. When you reload it, it's like you're like pulling him out and putting him back in, which I think is kind of cool. So a shout out to everybody who submitted the R2-D2 black cell. Now, moving on to number seven, we have the Ewok m 7 by Excuse My Art on Instagram. And uh, this one, I wish that we could have gotten either A, like some higher resolution pictures or even some video because this isn't the best picture quality right here, but it looks really good. Like it looked like he put a lot of time into this thing. The Ewoks are, uh, are super cool, super cute. I think it was like episode six that those were in. And uh, I don't know, I, I thought it was kind of cool. I think it would have been higher up on the list had we had better pictures or video. But uh, you know, regardless, it's a very, very cool paint job that this guy created. Now, uh, moving on to number six, we have the Death Star by Eli. And this one, I just, I thought it was really, really good. I saw quite a few Death Star submissions by you guys. And, and again, thank you to everybody who submitted. But Eli's was just like, it was a little bit above and beyond, you know what I mean? Like it was a little bit more detailed and it just, it looks super, super good. So fantastic job with that, Eli. Congrats on the number six spot. Moving on to number five, we're at the halfway point, boys. Star Wars Battle Scene by Billy Chuck 9 This is an M8A7 right here. As you guys can see, you have like two guys fighting with their lightsabers and all kinds of stuff going on in the background, the Star Wars logo and stuff like that. This one was just like, he, it's like he painted a canvas, you know what I mean? Like the M8A7 has a lot of room to, uh, to take advantage of in the paint shop. And I feel like Billy Chuck did a fantastic job with that here. I wish we could have seen the other side. I was curious as to what he did to the other side. You know, maybe there's something cool. Maybe there's not anything. He didn't show us, but uh, good job, Billy. Now, anyway, moving on to number four, we have a familiar face, Darth Vader, baby. Yes, that's right. And this one is actually by Sherbert Mellon, another familiar face. We've seen him a couple of times here on this series. He does fantastic work. Uh, as you guys can see, you've got the Darth Vader, you know, kind of like face and mask on one side. You got his name and the, uh, the Imperial logo logo on the other side. Kind of cool. I thought it was a, a good looking paint job there and uh, deserving of that number four spot. Now, moving on to number three, we have Stormtrooper by Julian Harrison. And this one, I just thought was incredible. I, I can't even like put a finger on what it is, but it looks so good and realistic. Like all the details on the Stormtrooper's helmet and stuff. It was just, it was absolutely amazing. I thought he did a fantastic job. And you know, obviously this side is very, very impressive and it's like the, the side of the gun that you actually see during your games. 
he recreated it over on the other side. Now, as you guys know, or at least I, I don't think there is, I don't think there's like a copy and paste the other side. I think you have to completely remake it from scratch. I'm almost 100% positive. So the fact that he took the time to put all of this over onto the other side, a side where he can't even see it anymore, it's only for the enemies, I thought that was kind of cool. So uh, fantastic job there. Definitely deserving of that number three spot. Now, moving on to number two, we have the Sith Lords paint job by Jack Walk. And as you guys can see, this one has Darth Vader on one side and then Darth Maul on the other side, which I thought was kind of cool. You know, it's, you know, anybody who makes double sided guns and puts a lot of detail and, and thought into both sides, it's super impressed to me because you don't even see one side half the time. And the fact that he put, you know, two different characters on there is kind of cool. And then you've got like the, the Sith, you know, kind of like enlightening letters and stuff. I don't know. I, just, I thought this was a really good looking one. And uh, congrats, Jack. Now, uh, moving on to the number one spot. Who's going to take it? Somebody we've seen on this series before and actually in this video before, Sherbert Mellon with the BB-8 Ray paint job on the M887. So like I mentioned earlier, the M887 is kind of like a canvas. It's a blank slate. You have a lot of space to work with. Uh, you know, most of the gun can be covered with your paint job, which is unlike most of the guns in this game. And uh, he did a fantastic job with this one. So he created kind of like that BB-8 and Ray uh, kind of like desert scene when they're walking through the desert. We've seen it. You know, it's part of episode uh, seven that's coming out. We've seen it in the trailers and stuff. He kind of recreated that scene except on the side of a weapon, which I thought was super intense. Looked really, really good. And again, it, it's almost like he like painted an image here. Like it doesn't really look like a paint job. It looks like uh, a piece of art. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode of the top 10 best paint jobs in Black Ops 3. Look forward to seeing what you guys have to offer. Again, if you want to submit your own stuff, the link is going to be down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know which one out of all of these was your favorite. Leave comments down below and uh, thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Check out one of these other two videos on screen if you have not seen them yet. That's what I say at the end of all of my videos. Check out one of the other videos you haven't seen yet. Peace out, guys.